guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of Yamana Coon. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. These things are not on straight. Oh my god. Is she also spoiled like a princess? Mm, I don't think so. It's sad though. Well, yeah, I mean, if she is just to herself, yeah, how do you communicate to her? <laughs> but she don't care. Which, of course, guys have. Mm hmm. Duh. Yes. So everybody looks at her like, mm, that's cute, but I don't know about that. Which, you know, her standards are high. And I get that. Mine would be too. Definitely. My, hell, mine probably are. I know myself. Well, at least she was nice to say bye to you. <laughs> of course she's seeing a gun, eh? <laughs> But 
ก็สักน้องปีพีม just because you're still hanging out you should text with somebody else it's okay oh my god hmm? yes Come on, let's go. Me, me. If any celebrity came up to this damn small ass town, even though J. Bill is big, but still, they filmed shit here. <laughs> um. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Because it's fun. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh. No, I mean, we're busy gaming. We're not talking about love. Yeah, and so it's all good for her to go home. I mean, but you're here as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh they're just friends. Ain't that funny? <laughs> like, like, like a little nugget. <laughs> huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh. 
I mean, you know, old her would say yes, but I think new her wants to do it on his own. Mm hmm Well, do you want to play? Uh, that would also be me eat some chips. I am hungry. Oh my god, Momo, just try! Just the biggest thing is you don't put anything liquid on it. It died. Yes. Everybody went <laughs> when Genshin came out and they played it on the PlayStation 4. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing because I was being too big. That's me. Except it, it's just me with unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> fucking eye catch. <laughs> oh my god. But I mean, this still works. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's just not like this one right here. Like his sleepy voice, his morning sleepy voice is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> A baby, oh. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, of course you'll have some. the time these brains but now Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Oh my god.
I'm not fine. Right. You can't end like that. Oh my god, no. Well, for now. Ripacana's laptop. I mean, uh, like I said, I, I know the feeling. Like I said, this, this bad boy, he is still working. He is still in tip-top shape form. I've had this since 20, 2016, 27, no, 20, more mid-2016 going on 2017. So it had a good life. It really did. It still works. It's just because of so many things that I've downloaded on it, it, it's super slow now. And it was super hard for me to do a lot of things in the last couple of bits of its life that I used. But I think if I rebooted it and did some other things and stuff with it, probably it would be back into tip top straight form again. Um, but boy, baby, I hope she gets a laptop fix in time. But like, okay, I, I love the fact that Runa ends up texting her brother and be like, yes, look how cute these two are together. Because, yes, they do look cute together. Once again, they're so freaking adorable. I love them both so freaking much. Like, oh, my God. The the tension and chemistry between these two, it's not even funny. Like, drop a freaking pen on them. Like, God damn. And the fact that, you know, her hair got in his eye. And she's like, which eye is it? Because she was ready to blow the crap out of it. Like, oh, it's so cute. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, as someone who has thick hair too, I know that feeling. Oh, yep, yeah, I know that feeling too. When your arms are tired. No. So cute, oh my God. But yes, having thick hair. Ah! <laughs> just annoying. Super duper annoying. Thick. I love having my thick hair and such, but when I'm trying to, whether I'm putting it in a ponytail like this or I am braiding my hair and, and such, <sighs> for the first two, maybe three hours, I am like, yes, I got this. We got this. I'm passionate. By like maybe hour four, five, maybe six. I am tired. Tired. I don't want to do it anymore. I want to do the lazy way out of it. That's why, like, sometimes, typically, after I'm done washing my hair, I will typically just go to this and go months um, with my hair like this. And then sometimes, out of the blue moon, I might just say, like, hey, I want my hair braided. I want it like this. I want it like that. Whatever. And, you know, my lovely mother will do it for me for free and such. Sometimes I play her, sometimes I don't, you know, the kindness of my heart and everything. Or I'll just braid my hair into just the natural braids that I normally do and such because, you know, hi, feelings. But, yeah, <laughs> I, I would have, like, really liked also to see Momo play and then kind of get in obsessed with it. Uh, 
so that, yes, she could possibly find someone because you never know where you're going to find someone that, once again, you know, our top thing for a lot of people is online dating and looking on apps like Tinder and Bumble and any other ones that I can't really think of that are either they're a success or they're not a success story. And the next thing you know, some people, because we're, we're in an age where, of course, we're doing everything online, but there are some who are the old fashioned type and they rather just go somewhere and meet someone somewhere, whether that is a club, a bar, um, out and about, whatever. I've, okay, so literally going back to me, I've had guys come up to the store while I'm working, ask for my number, and I've talked to them, maybe hit it off, but I just didn't see anything. Because I was just like, because I am the type of person right now where I'm like, I, I'm focused on me. That's all that matters. Me, myself, and my freaking eye. And like, I, I can say, yeah, in a little bit, I am also like Momo as well, but I feel like more I'm like a Connor. Because yes, do I want to be secretly married at the age I am? Not really. You know, maybe a little bit I used to, but not really. I'm, I'm just like in that bad bitch moment. I'd rather be a bad bitch and be independent and such and be on my own than having to not only worry about my issues, but also someone else's issues. Because 50 out of 50, um, coming into a relationship with someone, you don't want to bring in your own baggage. Your baggage is already enough for yourself. And then having to deal with not only your baggage, but somebody else's baggage is way too much. And usually that can always be one of many downfalls of a relationship. Not communicating is a big deal for me. So if we don't communicate, I feel like, then why are we together? I've even said that to my ex-boyfriend and you know, mm, he he's the type of person who where it's like, oh, he likes to communicate, but only when he is on like his time and such. And so I was just like, no. Like, we we can talk, I'm, I'm like, I'm the type of girl who I, I will literally talk to you every day, every day. We're, I'm fine with talking with someone every day, every other day, whatever. <laughs> I did it again. Uh, but, and I'll say it like this. If you don't want to talk to me and such, please tell me. Don't tell me in a rude way, but just say, hey, like, you know, I'm not in the mood to talk. Okay, that's fine. I'll get the freaking hit and such. Um, but he had a lot of issues that he was dealing with and it was, I, and I did not make him choose. He was the one who did himself. It was either he chose, he, he was like this, it's either you or you and the baggage or just the baggage. And he chose the baggage. And I was like, okay, that's fine. It is what it is. Do we still talk? Yeah. Mm, once in a blue moon now, friends who really like talk to just see how each other are and stuff. And then he'll ask me about like my videos and just like that. Sometimes he might pop up in a comment randomly <laughs> and such and I'll be like, hi, how you doing? <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it, it's just, it takes time. You're like, as I said, when I, I what the fuck was I watching a couple of days ago? Um, I don't remember, <laughs> oh my God, cause I watched too many shit. Um, your person. Is out there for you. You just have to be patient and they will come when you're ready. Don't always be the type of person be like, oh my God, where is he or where is she? Da, 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 da. When it's time, they will come when you least freaking expect it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of Yamanaku. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 7. Bye, guys.